disabled people paying a big price. Plus, passengers in trouble as their plane is stuck. But as the Shame on You team found out, in this case, it means a mess. Arnold Diaz reports on transit authority buses that are too dangerous for disabled people to ride. Shame, 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 shame on you. Can you pick me up? It's another frustrating day for Flo Fox, watching as one after another brand new city buses pull up and the drivers say sorry, the wheelchair lift isn't working. I don't know what happened, I just know we can't take it. If we put the key in it, it doesn't operate. The new city buses all have wheelchair lifts as required by law, but not until the buses were put in service in the spring did the transit authority find out the lifts are so poorly designed they're actually a hazard to the disabled. I almost tipped over sideways when I was coming off, off the lift uh, in July. As Terry Moakley of the Eastern Paralyzed Veterans Association found out, the angle of the bottom ramp is too steep. It forces all the weight onto the back of the chair, and the front wheels actually come off the ground. If I give it a good shove, at this point, you know, the chair is just, will just tip over backwards. Even if you make it up the ramp, you then have to clear the raised hinge to get onto the platform, another hazard. So many disabled riders have had problems with the lifts, the transit authority ordered the drivers of these new buses to stop using the wheelchair lifts until they can be fixed. So for the past six months, riders like Flo Fox, who ironically is the cover girl on the MTA's accessible travel brochure, have had to wait a lot longer for an accessible bus. It can take over an hour. In the rain, it's horrendous. How did it happen? If you went to buy a car, wouldn't you first try it out? Well, apparently, the Transit Authority bought 167 buses for $33 million and never bothered to test out the wheelchair lifts. We, as a Transit Authority, um, got the assurance that it was ADA compliant, and we acted on that. The TA says it took the word of the manufacturer, TMC of Roswell, New Mexico, which guaranteed the wheelchair lift complied with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Only after the buses were put in service and the complaints began pouring in did the TA hire an expert to evaluate the lift. We brought in a consultant in and uh, they found three areas where it was not compliant. Activists in the disabled community like Frida Zanes say the TA did it all backwards. What makes sense is for us to first use the lifts, try out the lifts, before the, team, the transit people purchase them, and tell, find out about the problems ahead of time. Why didn't the TA have a disabled person test the lift before buying the buses? Because that's not the way it's done. That has never been the process in the past. The manufacturer is paying to retrofit the lifts, but there's a cost to the disabled riders who on 40 bus routes around New York City are being passed by. I've been waiting a long time. I can't take it. So into our hall of shame, we induct the manufacturer, TMC, and the Transit Authority for putting another obstacle in the path of the disabled. I'm Arnold Diaz, Channel 2 News.